Hey everyone, it's Chris from the Protocase team. Today I'm going to go over how to create a bracket and then save it as a sub-assembly inside Protocase Designer. Protocase manufactures custom brackets that can be a part of a full enclosure design or ordered as a separate or standalone component. In Protocase Designer, a sub-assembly is any part that is saved in the cutout library and then added into another assembly such as an enclosure. Sub-assemblies can be components such as custom brackets that can be designed with cutouts or PEMs and saved into the cutout library and then added to an enclosure at any point during your design process. In this following tutorial, we're going to create a bracket and then save it as a sub-assembly and then add it onto an enclosure. First, we're going to create a new template by selecting brackets. And for this example, I'm going to select an L bracket. We're going to go ahead and customize the bracket by editing its parameters, such as the metal type, powder coat color, and dimensions. I'm going to change the material type to aluminum and make it an arrow yellow powder coat. I'm actually fine with the dimensions that are defaulted, so I'm going to go ahead and click on OK to generate the bracket in a 3D view. So if this particular bracket is going to be assembled inside an enclosure, it's going to need some cutouts for mounting. We're going to go ahead and we're just going to add two cutouts. These are going to be for mounting fasteners at a later time. A good thing to note though, if you're going to be getting a bracket or another sub-assembly powder coated with us, you're going to need to have at least one cutout in your design in order to have this properly painted. So once this is complete, you're going to click accept and then go back into the 3D viewer. Now to create this bracket as a sub-assembly, you're going to either go to the top menu and select Cutout Library Manager and then select Create Sub-Assembly, or you can just go to the option on the left-hand side of the menu. You'll then select the face of the bracket that will be the mating face, and this is the face that will be mounted onto the enclosure itself. So for this, I'm going to select the bottom of the bracket. You can then edit the following fields of the information on the bracket. This is more of a personal preference. So once you hit OK, your bracket is now added to the Cutout Library. And you can double check this by selecting Cutout Library Manager at the top menu of the 3D Viewer, and you'll see it under your personal library. So now we're going to go ahead and create a new enclosure template, so then we can now attach this bracket subassembly to the inside. For this example, I'm going to select an L-shaped enclosure and change the powder coat to black Santex, leaving the default dimensions the same. I'm going to take off the cover by selecting this on the right hand side under Show Hide Parts. This will give us access to edit the inside face of the enclosure where we want the bracket to be attached. It's also important to note that Protocase Designer has templated brackets inside the cutout library that can also be added to an enclosure or part. So you don't necessarily have to create a bracket from scratch but it's a good idea to check the cutout library first to see if the bracket you require has already been made. Now we are going to select cutout library and fasteners from the top menu and scroll down to the personal library section. You will then be able to select your bracket subassembly. Obviously, for your own design, you're going to want to place the proper fasteners that will allow you to securely fasten your subassembly to the enclosure. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. To sum up, you can create sub-assemblies inside Protocase Designer that can be saved and later added to an enclosure at a later date. If you have any questions, please check out the Protocase Designer form or email us at info.protocasedesigner.com. Our wiki is also a great source of information. Thanks for watching.